My topic is speech and language disorders, causes, characteristics, assessment, educational approaches, and augmentative alternative communication. When a person is unable to produce speech sounds correctly or fluently, or he has problems with his or her voice, then he has speech disorder. Difficulties pronouncing sounds or articulation disorders as stuttering, for example, is a speech disorder. From another side, language disorders, when a person has trouble understanding others, such as receptive language, and sharing or sharing thoughts, ideas, and feelings completely, which is expressive language, then he or she has a language disorder. The stroke can result aphasia or a language disorder. The causes of most speech disorders are not known. Deafness and hearing loss are significant causes of speech delays and disorders. The symptoms of a speech disorder depends heavily on the age of the child. There is no symptoms of speech disorders that apply to all ages of children. Basic guidance about what kind of speech is normal at what age can be helpful in determining if a child is missing significant speech milestones. There are multitudes of possible causes for a speech and language disorder in children. Some are very obvious and some are fortunately not, or at least uncertain. Some common causes are hearing loss, chronic ear infection, congenital birth defect, brain injury before, during, or after birth, traumatic brain injury or stroke, mental retardation, language or learning disabilities, auditory processing disorder, delayed developmental related to prematurity, oral motor weakness or disorder. A student with a learning disability, wherever he has difficulties with comprehension and or verbal, oral or written communication may have a language disorder. It may or may not be a direct result of something neurological, physical or psychological in nature. A student that exhibits articulation difficulties and or impairment that can be a direct result of neuro neurological, psych uh, psychological or physical factors may have a speech disorder. Voice fluency is usually missing. Sometimes a child will have both language and speech delays. Note that language delays include lack of understanding, comprehension and the ability to, rely, uh, to, to relay thoughts. Characteristic of speech and language disabilities, including individuals with communication disorders, have considerable difficulties making themselves clearly understood and may also have difficulty com composing their thoughts and ideas or in understanding what is said by others. These difficulties are generally due to neurological and mechanical disabilities involving the voice. A child with communication disorder may also present such characteristics as the ability to follow instructions or slow comprehensive speech. Assessment. Speech and language therapists use a range of standardized tests and norm reference checklists, as well as direct and reported observation. The therapist works closely with the educational psychologist in order to determine if disorder in general or specific and if other disorders may be implicated, for example, ADHD, dyslexia, dysgraphia, it is important to remember that other developmental disorders can and often do co